subscribe and hit the notification bell icon for future videos. For as the lightning cometh out of the east and shineth even unto the west, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened, and the moon shall not give her light, and the stars shall fall from heaven, and the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him, and all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him. Even so, Amen. If we could stop right here and know from the previous verse exactly what the Bible's second coming of Christ Jesus will be like. From the east to the west, every eye shall see him coming like lightning in the sky. Thankfully God doesn't stop there, as he gives us much more evidence so we can be without doubt about how Jesus will return. Then if any man shall say unto you, Lo, here is Christ, or there, believe it not. For there shall arise false Christs, and false prophets, and shall show great signs and wonders, insomuch that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. Behold, I have told you before. Wherefore, if they shall say unto you, Behold, he is in the desert, go not forth. Behold, he is in the secret chambers, believe it not. These are the built-up verses from 23 to verse 26, and here Jesus is warning us not to be deceived by any counterfeit coming. There will only be one true second coming of Christ Jesus, and every eye will see it happen all over the earth. So, if someone tells you that Christ has returned, or you see something on the news, believe it not because you will see Jesus return for yourself. Even Satan, who will transform himself into an angel of light, will not be able to match the splendor and majesty and worldwide scope of Christ's second coming. He will try, but those who know the Bible truth will not be deceived, which is why the truth is so important. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Notice three important stages in these verses that happen during the same event. First, Jesus descends with a shout and with the trump of God. So the Bible's second coming is going to be a very noisy event and there will be nothing secret about it, as many secret rapture theorists believe. Second, at the second coming, the saved in Christ who have passed away are resurrected, and the saved in Christ who are still alive, are caught up together to meet Jesus in the air. Don't miss that point, because Satan will not be able to reenact this. It's during this noisy second coming that the saved are caught up into the sky to meet Jesus. Remember, up to this point, Jesus will not have set foot on the earth, which leads onto the third stage, which is, Jesus doesn't set his foot down onto the earth, and then receive his people, we will meet him in the air. Please engrave that point in your mind. This is the Bible truth. How will Jesus return? When the Son of Man shall come in his glory and all the holy angels with him, then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory. So, Jesus will come with all his angels. Do you know how many angels Jesus has? Look at Revelation chapter 5 verse 11. And I beheld, and I heard the voice of many angels round about the throne and the beasts and the elders. And the number of them was ten thousand times ten thousand, and thousands of thousands. This is probably a conservative number, but if we do the math of this verse, we come to at least one hundred million. Can you imagine? Jesus is going to return at his second coming with at least one hundred million mighty angels. This is going to be an awesome event. And to you who are troubled, rest with us when the Lord Jesus shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels, in flaming fire taking vengeance on them that know not God and that obey not the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. When do we rest? At the second coming, after we meet him in the air. And what is the second coming going to be like? An army of at least 100 million mighty angels coming with Jesus in flaming fire. This is going to be a glorious and dreadful event at the same time. As it says in the book of Malachi, chapter 4, verse 5 the great and dreadful day of the Lord. Glorious for the redeemed, but dreadful for those who are lost. 
And when he had spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up, and a cloud received him out of their sight. And while they looked steadfastly toward heaven as he went up, behold, two men stood by them in white apparel, which also said, Ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up into heaven? This same Jesus which is taken up from you into heaven shall so come in like manner as ye have seen him go into heaven. As these verses clearly state, Jesus will not secretly rapture people away. He will not secretly return and appear to certain people. He will return in the clouds with all his mighty angels, and we will look up to heaven and see him return, just as the disciples looked up and saw him ascend into heaven. Our God shall come and shall not keep silence. A fire shall devour before him, and it shall be very tempestuous round about him. He shall call to the heavens from above and to the earth that he may judge his people, whose voice then shook the earth. But now he hath promised, saying, Yet once more I shake not the earth only, but also heaven. Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him, and all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him. Even so, amen. And the heaven departed as a scroll when it is rolled together, and every mountain and island were moved out of their places. And the kings of the earth, and the great men, and the rich men, and the chief captains, and the mighty men, and every bondman, and every free man, hid themselves in the dens and in the rocks of the mountains, and said to the mountains and rocks, Fall on us, and hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne, and from the wrath of the Lamb. For the great day of his wrath is come, and who shall be able to stand? If you stick to the Bible truth, then there is no need for you to be deceived concerning the second coming of Christ Jesus. It is going to be the most spectacular event this world has ever or will ever see. So if you see a news report stating that Jesus has returned, or someone tells you the same, then you will know from the previous Bible verses that it will be a false messiah. And the armies which were in heaven followed him upon white horses, clothed in fine linen, white and clean. There can be no mistake as to how Christ Jesus is going to return at the second coming. The scriptures are very clear in telling us that the second coming is going to be a worldwidely visible, noisy, and fiery event. That every eye on this earth will see him. Please seek the Bible truth so that you will not be deceived by any counterfeit coming. And do not believe anyone who sets a random date of the second coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. You better stay away from them, as Jesus himself says. But of that day and hour no one knows, not even the angels of heaven, but my Father only. Please rate the video, comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell icon for future videos. The video is free to use on your channel without giving me any credit. God bless you all.